guys welcome back to my channel why it feels like forever since i last filmed and i promised myself that i was gonna upload at least once a week but life happened it got so busy and so hectic and we went on holiday and this and that but hopefully things have settled now and i can get back into um being consistent because i don't want you guys forgetting about me ever so i'm gonna try and upload at least every saturday morning or sunday morning or weekend or maybe during the week if i'm if i'm gonna be too busy or if i'm not too busy during the week then i'll i'll try and upload at least um during the week but um things have gone back to normal now and also just on the topic of helper and baby situation that i spoke about on my previous video so uh no helper anymore baby is starting nursery why do i call her baby Leroy is starting nursery on monday and i'm quite excited about it because i know that she's gonna grow and develop and you know have fun and play and develop social skills etc hopefully i don't have anxiety on monday when the time comes that i need to drop her off at school but so far mom is good um and yeah i really am looking forward to it so the reason for today's video guys is based on the questions that i've been receiving on dms people just interested in knowing how we planned the wedding whether we had a planner how long it took us the supplies that we use etc etc so i'm just going to share some few tips that really helped me out and um, some information obviously based on my own experience that i think will be helpful when you are planning your own wedding and you don't have a planner as well so um yeah i really hope it'll be helpful and if you're getting married this year congratulations hopefully you've started planning already and started saving because weddings are expensive but anyway let's get right into the video for today guys so the first thing is to have a budget it's very important to save towards the wedding i think it's it's very important to avoid taking up debt um to pay for the wedding because after the wedding you don't enjoy yourselves because now you must pay up this debt that you took so start saving as soon as possible we started saving two years in advance and if you get in contact with suppliers and find out their numbers get quotes it really helps you know or have an idea of round about how much you guys will be spending towards the wedding so plan in advance and get that information and do your research because it will help you when you do your budget and i think a very important tip with budgeting is to always save more than what you need so if you think your wedding is going to cost you around 100k just add a little 50k on the side or 20 or 10 whatever it is that you can um, afford to save as an extra just to make sure you cover up for some unaccounted expenses that may come up along the way that you were not prepared for you know it will really help with that because you don't want to deplete your dresses budget and take out the money from there and pay for other stuff that you were not planning on so very important try and save more than what you need the second thing is involve your partner in your planning as much as you are the bride and it's your day and da, 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 you're not the only one that's getting married so make sure that your partner is involved and he has a say if he wants um unless if of course he gives you the freedom to plan and run with everything yourself then that's absolutely fine but if he wants to have a say let him both of you guys are getting married and also it'll help if there's things that you know you have forgotten of and he can remember and also if you are planning with your partner it helps in that if there's a third party that wants to have a say in your day you know telling you that the color for your theme is not nice you must pick a purple instead of a green or whatever then you and your partner both can tell this person off in a nice polite way because you both agree that you are going with pink or green or purple or whatever you know so it's very important and helpful that you communicate and involve your partner it makes the process seamless the third thing is to plan in advance so make sure guys you take your time out to plan have timelines every month jot down what it is you want to achieve if by february you needed to have a bought shoes make sure that you go out of your way to get those shoes if you can't find the shoes try and substitute with something else that you wanted to achieve for example in march you know just so you can 
keep the process going and you can tick your list off in getting things done you don't want things to pile up at a later stage when it's almost wedding day and now you're getting stressed because you can't find the shoes because you've put them out for later because this and that so make sure you plan way in advance and a very important thing that i did when i was planning you know is just to envision your day so think about how your day is gonna look like see yourself walking down the aisle see your guests see the decor just envision your day it'll help you plan towards achieving that because you will know you will do every single thing to make sure that you get what your wedding day is gonna look like because you've seen it so you will make sure that you do everything in your power to get to that day and meet every single standard that you've set for that day the fourth thing is to know what you want and never settle guys i almost made the biggest mistake when i was when i was planning um my wedding um so the initial venue that venue that we wanted was booked for the day for our wedding day so we had to find an alternative now this alternative is like a second or option b so i was really not entirely happy about it but i went for it because we needed a venue so we went and booked this venue with a booking fee etc and then time went on and i think around july no june yeah june of last year i realized that this is not the place that i want to get married at like i don't see myself here you know that vision that i talked about i just don't vision myself walking down the aisle here and unfortunately we had paid a booking fee so we had to forfeit that but uh, at that point i was like you know what it doesn't matter how much money we lose i am not going to be happy getting married at this place and i don't want that for myself so we cancelled and we started from scratch luckily we met our photographer and because he'd been around a few venues done workshops they he recommended a venue which i fell in love with and we got married there and yeah that's the venue that we use and i was absolutely happy about it loved it so very important do not settle rather people call you a bridezilla because they misuse that word anyway so rather they call you a bridezilla but make sure that whatever you want you go for it and you don't settle for anything else and lastly pray for your day guys it's very important if you're christian and you believe in god make sure that you pray for your day put it into words into prayer to him every single detail of your day from your suppliers arriving on time to the food being prepared on time to people enjoying themselves and the energy around talk about energy a friend of mine said that to me she was like my friend you need to pray for the energy around um that'll be surrounding your day because it's very important to have people that are filled with love and that are happy and celebrating with you because you can feel you can definitely feel the energy from your guests so it's very important that you incorporate all of those things when you're praying tell god exactly how you want your day to go people arriving on time your guests around arriving on time the important people the family members whoever's going to walk you down the aisle making it making it on time you know praying that people don't get into any accidents driving to the venue just put it into prayer and god will make sure that it goes according to plan and yeah that's about it guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video again if you're getting married this year congratulations i really hope that your day is exactly what you envision it to be also i hope that the information that i shared will be helpful in making sure that your planning process is seamless and less stressful because you don't want to be a bride that is stressed so make sure you relax and you pray and anything that is out of your control don't even try and control it you know just leave it in god's hands and you will be fine and yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel just hit the subscribe button already and just let me know in the comment section what you thought about this video i will see you on my next one consistency guys so i will be uploading again next week i promise i promise